Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually go ahead and combine different components that you've made with different variants, and you want to combine them into a single larger component with different variant types and different properties, so on and so forth. So in some cases that actually happens with buttons. So sometimes you probably created a different type of a button with different states, like a primary button and then a secondary button and the tertiary button. And then you're trying to basically combine them. So what a lot of people do is, let's say they try to move this here or they try to cut this and paste it here. Obviously that doesn't work. Sometimes they try to cut this button, paste it here. That does work, but it works in a weird manner. Like you now have a weird property, so on and so forth. So the way that you ideally want to do this is you actually want to go ahead and you want to expand uh, the component that you want to include all of these other variants in. Then you need to rename this to the, the button or whatever name that you want to give to the larger component. Then you go ahead and add the properties that you want included in there. So now you can say this is going to be uh, the type of a button. So by default, this particular type is primary. So I'm going to say this is primary. And then you can move the primary thing at the top. Let me just do that. And now in order for me to go ahead and drag these buttons, I can actually, since I already have the state pretty common in all of these three buttons, so I don't need to change the state. But what I want to do here is I want to say this is going to be our button secondary, and this is going to be button slash tertiary. So once we do that, if we just basically select all of these and drag these in, now, if I've dragged it in, as you can see, the type by default has been selected to secondary. The state is obviously being reflected here as it was previously, and everything just works smoothly. We can do the same here, and if I drag it, now as you can see, we have the tertiary button, we have the secondary button, and we have the primary button. And if I just include it here, so we have primary, secondary, tertiary, and the default hover and active. And that's how you go about combining different types of components in a really smooth and simple manner without necessarily doing a lot of changes, so on and so forth. So that's going to be a pretty quick video just to explain that to you. And I hope you subscribe, take care, have fun, and like the video. Bye.